All right. Pit maneuver time, right? What kind of weak ass is that? All right, guys, I gotta be honest with you, man. This might be one of the weakest police chases I've ever seen coming out of Clayton County. Like when we mention Clayton County, we talk about the Black Hawk unit, the, the Cobra unit. Like you don't wanna go to Clayton County from what I've seen in other videos. But for some reason, your boy did not wanna take this guy down. Stolen BMW with the tag registered to a Cadillac Escalade, already ran from one department in Georgia, so they're already on the lookout for this BMW. Cobra unit intercepts, and the chase took way longer than it should have. 15 minutes, it should have took four or five, maybe six minutes tops. Some of the weakest pit maneuvers I've ever seen on this channel. I don't know, man. Talk to me. Maybe it's just me, but uh, this chase went on much longer than it should have, man. Let's get into it. What's up, guys? It's your boy, Knockout360, here with another video, man. As you can tell, I'm in a house that makes us a house vlog. You know how it's going down when I come around. Let's get into it, man. Car content, car shows, car reviews, car meets. Anything and everything car related happens on this channel. So if you're into that, make sure that you stick around for everyone else. Hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so that you know what's coming out and when it's coming out. So tell me, man. We're going to watch this whole chase. And I want you to tell me, maybe it's just me, maybe I'm expecting so much from Clayton County that when we get a normal police chase, it's almost like it's below standard. But this right here, I don't know, I'm not, this might be the weakest police chase that I've seen coming out of Clayton County. Now, I'm not going to Clayton County to test them, you know what I mean? I'm just saying, you know, from the looks of it, this looks pretty weak to me. Shout out to my boy, County Boys. Let's go ahead and get it started. Yeah. And when you hear that, you know it's County Boys. Yeah. All right, so we got Cobra unit. Remember, there's two units, or at least two units that I normally cover. Black Hawk unit and Cobra unit. And neither one of them play. So they're on the lookout for BMW, suspected of stolen, also ran for one other police unit in Georgia already. So you tell me if I'm tripping. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Let's see if we can fast forward a little bit until he actually sees the BMW. Boom. There it is. BMW with a soft top. I don't even think this is the M series. This should have been taken down easily. So he ran from GSP. Lights him up. Lights him up. Now the chase is on. All right, BMW pulling away. I really don't think he's all the way down on the 5.7 either. I really don't think he's all the way down on the pedal either. See what he said, fled from another agency, tag comes back to another vehicle, possibly stolen. Which in Georgia means that it is stolen. Yeah, like he's not even all the way down on that 5.7. He's kind of cruising at this point. Speeds at 110. Yeah, he's not even pushing it really. So 
So he's trying to get GSP and DeKalb County and all these other counties in the chase as well. Let's fast forward a little bit. All right, so he's getting off the highway, which is stupid, right? He already got three car lengths ahead of the cop. Just keep going. But he's getting off. That sounds like Charlotte. All right. See what? We could have had a pit maneuver right there, bro. Look at all this space. You could have pit maneuvered his ass, put him right into the ditch. The chase is over at four minutes and 40 seconds. Everybody's going home. I don't know. Talk to me. Oh, it's a green light. Okay, so we got to go. I guess that's what it was, right? That's pit maneuver opportunity right there. He said, I'm waiting for a good spot. Okay. I can feel that. Two lane road, only one going, one coming. I get it. You don't want to endanger other passengers, right? I get it. Pedestrians. takes off again. That BMW is not faster than that 5.7. No way. I'm not going to say he could have pit maneuvered him on that turn, but he could have went into his rear end pretty hard on that turn, and which would have forced him out and put him into the grass. You know, just my two cents. We're coming back towards the county now. Somebody can get to uh, Moreland Avenue if you make a left hand. That BMW is not faster than that 5.7. That 5.7 is moving. Yeah, that 5.7 is moving. Once again, it's pit time, right? No pit maneuver? I don't know. Okay, roundabout. I hate those. Everybody hates those. Georgia's full of them. North Carolina's full of them too. All right, pit maneuver time, right? Pit maneuver time. No pit maneuver. Okay. All right, dead end. Boom. Smash into them. Call that a pit? The, the BMW just lost control in the grass. He didn't. That's not a pit maneuver. Okay. Hands up! Chase is over, up. right? Chase Put is over, right? Up. Chase is done. Chase is over. Video's over, right? We're done here, right? Boy said, nah, we just getting started. On the road, you just pulled out of the grass now. We're going back uh, 
slowing down. He's letting the BMW dictate the chase. Okay, get another pit if you can. All right. Pit time. No, P. He let off the gas. Okay. He's slowing down with the BMW. All right, pit maneuver time. Right, it's pit time. No pit. Tom, right? What kind of pit was that, y'all? That was an accidental pit. That was a sir, may I pitch your automobile in this police chase type of pit. What, what, let's go back. Maybe I'm tripping. Go back to about here. That wasn't no pit. This chase should have been over six minutes ago. All right, all right, it's pit time. Just put him in the grass. Pit time, right? All this open grass over here. Granted, there's a, a pedestrian coming in the opposite lane, but he was coming in slow. He, he, I mean, come on, bro. Yeah. 
All right, all right, that's over. He's sick of it. Okay. Okay. I might have to block out some of the gun stuff. He knows the chase is over. Is that a Durango? That's a Durango. Oh, okay. Gotcha. So he was in a Durango 5-7. Gotcha. Put your hands up! Put your hands up! Yeah, he's in a Durango 5-7. He looks Put defeated. Your left hand and under your seat belt. Put him back on the stairwell. There's one line I want you to hear, and then once I hear that line, we'll, we'll uh, move on. He said, thank you. That's what I wanted to hear. Should have stayed out of Clayton County. Listen, at the end of the day, everything the cop did was by the book. Everything the officer did, the sheriff's officer did was by the book. And at the end of the day, the end result was to apprehend the suspect without, you know, with the, the least amount of damage, minimal damage to either his car, uh, the officer's car, as well as pedestrians, cars, property, so on and so forth. So the officer did his job. You know what I'm saying? No, I'm not taking that away from him. It's just normally when I see Clayton County in the title and it's a police chase and then I see Cobra unit or Blackhawk unit, normally cars are getting flipped the fuck over. Like they're, you know, they're getting flipped. They're pit maneuvers into the grass, into the ditch, into the, the bushes, trees, scat packs, Hellcats, Durango Hellcats. I've seen Durango Hellcats getting sideways because of Clayton County. It was just interesting in this case because it really seemed like, you know, the guy didn't want to pit. Like, he just wanted him to stop. It's just like, hey, man, you see the lights behind you? Just go ahead and stop. I, I don't want to go any further. You know, maybe he was at the end of his shift and it's like, listen, it's Friday. I'm at the end of my shift. I don't want to deal with this shit, right? And I can imagine, you know, if it, if it was Friday for me and it's the end of my shift and now all of a sudden I'm in a police chase, it's like, come on, bro. Like, why are you doing this to me? It's Friday. I'm trying to go home. Leave me alone. But, I mean, at the end of the day, like I said, everything he did was by the book. He did exactly what he was supposed to. Nobody was injured. Nobody was hurt. Nobody lost their life. Minimal property damage, I would imagine. And he apprehended the suspect. So he did everything that he was supposed to do. It's just this chase lasted 15 minutes or this encounter lasted 15 minutes when in actuality it should have lasted about four and a half, straight up and down. I mean, from the moment that I stopped the video the first time at that intersection where he could have pit maneuvered him, like that should have been the end of the video. Like, the video should be over at this point. It shouldn't have lasted 15 minutes. And then that last pit, I mean, I don't even know. I don't, what was that? You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, you know, anything is possible. I know a lot of departments have to get authorization before they can pit. Um, some departments, I think, are a little more uh, autonomous. Like, they have their own freedom to do pits whenever they choose. I thought that all the, the departments in Georgia could pretty much pit whenever they felt like it. You know what I mean? If you were doing 20 miles an hour or 120, if they wanted to pit maneuver you, they could put you in the bushes. But uh, that's not always the case. Sometimes they got to get authorization. Sometimes, depending on the traffic level, there was a couple instances in this chase where they were on a uh, you know, back road, one lane going, one lane coming. Obviously, you can't pit there, but 
there were a couple instances where your boy really could have torn that back bumper off of that damn BMW, and he chose not to. Especially when he actually got him at that um, dead end. Like, he should have took that that Durango, that 6,000-pound Durango, and rammed that shit into the door of that BMW and, like, put his ass into the bushes, but he chose not to. But what I will say is, you know, I guess there's a, a dirty way of doing things and a clean way. This right here is the clean way, right? Everybody goes home except for, you know, the perp or whatever. But he did his job, man, so I can't knock him for it. But uh, generally... When a car has ran from GSP twice and gotten away, and it's a stolen BMW with stolen tags, normally they're on 10. This one was kind of a you know a little more chilled. But at the end of the day, he did what he was supposed to do. My hat goes off to the you know the the sheriff officer or whatever. So you know uh, Clayton County, you know still not to be messed with. And then I had to get that last line in. Should have stayed out of Clayton County. That might be something that all of them say at the end of police chases. Like that's the third time I've heard somebody say. You shouldn't have came in. You shouldn't have come into Clayton County. So that may be like a part of their, uh, not even their intro, but their outro. You know, their closing statements, closing remarks, if you will. Like, hey, listen, you shouldn't have come to Clayton County with that. You don't have to tell me twice. I'm not coming to Clayton County. But as always, shout out to my man, County Boys, man, dropping absolute heat here. Uh, Clayton County still undefeated, man. You know, they they're gonna do it one way or another. The clean way or the dirty way. But, you know, they're going to get you down one way or another, man. As always, like, subscribe, comment. It's been your boy, Knockout360. See you in the next one, man. Peace.